Oh, hey Rose. I'm at St. Goretti High. What's the matter? What do you mean, what's the matter? It's a mansion, silly. I'm here and you're late. Jeez, we're on shift together. You promised. Oh my god, please don't tell me you forgot. You were planning on leaving me to check this place out on my own, weren't you? You chickened out. Calm down. You know I take my promises seriously. I'd like to believe that. So hurry up and get here. This place is huge. A bit too quiet since no one's lived here since, like, forever, but beautiful nonetheless. Why are you so surprised? This isn't the first time you've been there. I know. I just wish I could live in a place like this. It really takes my breath away. Yeah, well, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Not after the rumors that say it's haunted. Jeez, never mind those rumors. Ghosts aren't real after all. And even if they are, which they are not, they can't do anything. They're nothing but spirits. You don't know that. They might be listening or watching right now, and they might not be happy with you enough to curse you. No offense, sweetie, but that's a bit of a stretch. Uh, believe it or not, it's better to be careful. Right. You know, not every property we sell will end up with a dead body stuffed in a sofa. And I think that mansion is where we'll likely find another one. I can feel it. That was one time, Isabella! Loosen up! Wait, just get here ASAP, please. I'm getting bored being here on my own. Fine, fine. Let me just finish up here. I'll be right there soon. Okay, see you. Bye! Who was that? Oh, that? It's just Rose. Rose? The one you said who trained you for your job back when you started? You're working together again? 
just for this property. We've been scoping out that big mansion down Anselm Village after the renovations. Today's sort of its grand opening to the public. The RC wants to give it one last check before we let potential buyers tour it this afternoon. Oh wait, mansion? That big spooky one you've been telling everyone about? Didn't you keep saying how it just gave you the creeps? You actually went there? And you're going back? Well, I did promise Rose I wouldn't ditch her. And besides, a job is a job. Gotta do what you gotta do to make a living. <laughs> What's so funny? Nothing. It's just that I didn't expect you to say that. Coming from you, it sounds so... out of character. I mean, no offense, but you've been freaking out about the place being creepy ever since you got assigned to it. Cursed rumors and all. I honestly thought you'd back out. Not all the time. I could really use a huge amount of cash right now, and this is just the fastest way to get it. Plus, listen to this. Briar Realty wants it sold as soon as possible, and the agent who lands the deal is going to get a huge bonus! They never give bonuses like that. Getting that would make life so much easier. They're desperate, I'm desperate, it's perfect. You know, if you're really in urgent need of money, you could have just asked me. Or Ashton, who we can always let you borrow, and you can pay us back whenever. Becca, I've noticed that you've been living off instant noodles these past few weeks. Stop eating junk! They're cheap, but they're not good for you. You'll definitely end up in the hospital if you keep at it! Hey! I eat other things too! That's not going to work on me. And I saw it when you were cleaning your flat last week. The instant noodle cups outnumber everything else. You're just exaggerating. Did you even see what's in my cupboard yet? I'm not just living on instant noodles alone. I've got canned beans, peas, tuna, ham, and even hamburgers in there. the same ones you won from the grocer's raffle more than a year ago? Oh, I sincerely hope you're checking the date stamps on those things before eating them. I don't want a repeat of last year. In any case, those are still not exactly healthier choices, Belle. do with you. I 
I hope you know that it's impossible not to worry about you when you're like this. You don't have to keep eating the same thing. I already told you before. You're always free to reheat food in my fridge. Thanks, Becca. I really appreciate it, but you don't need to keep babying me. You've been taking care of me since after I moved here. You have to take a break sometime. And before you ask again, no. You know I'm not a fan of borrowing money. And I'm not going to ask you to give me what you earned hard for yourself. Ugh, you and your pride. But suit yourself. The offer stays on the table, though. Well, enough chit-chat. Lunch is ending, and my students will be back any minute. We can catch up later. Good luck with your clients. You better treat us to lunch or something if you get that sale. You bet! Hey, you sure you can manage on your own? I mean, you're still a bit feverish. Ah, oh, hush, dear. Don't you worry about me. I'll just drink some medicine and I'll be right as rain. You shouldn't even be working right now. <laughs> Seriously, you big baby. I'll be fine. For now, just go to work and stop making that rose girl wait for you. I'll call you if I still feel bad, and you can come pick me up if it makes you feel any better. All right, but don't forget what the doctor said. Drink this on time. I'll see you later, okay? <laughs> Look who's playing the mother hen now. Rebecca! <laughs> okay, okay. I won't tease anymore. I'll make sure to drink it, Mom.
Rose? Guess again. Ash? Bingo. Hey, what's up? Just checking if you're still cool later this evening. You mean that thing with Zack? Yeah. He even called in the middle of the night just to remind me. No, don't worry. I didn't forget. I'll be there. Cool. I'll see you later. What time do you get off? Around 5, 6 p.m.? I don't know. It's the first day of the Ermengarde Mansion's open house, and we're expecting quite a number of potential buyers. I'll be booked the whole afternoon. Ermengarde Mansion? You know, the big Jacobean mansion at Anselm Village? I'm on my way there right now, actually. On your own? Yeah, well, Rose is already there, but yeah. I see. Looks like the scaredy cat finally toughened up. Shut up! <laughs> I'll see you later. Drop me a call when you're done. I'll see if I can pick you up. Whatever. Bye! Who planning to go inside that place, Missy? Is there something wrong? Look, Missy, I'm sure you've heard what the people are telling everyone about that place. Nobody likes to be disturbed when they're at peace, and I'm pretty sure whatever they say is in that house doesn't want to either. I admit they did a good job fixing it up, but there must have been a reason why even distant relatives of the family who used to own the house never lived in there despite inheriting it. No wonder they wanted to get rid of it. But maybe they just didn't like it? You never know.
Rose? Rose? Rose, I'm here. I'm here. Where, are Where are you? The number you have dialed has not been recognized. Please check and try again. The number you have dialed has not been recognized. Please check and try again. Rose? Rose? If you can hear me, please come out. Come, out. come on, Rose! This isn't funny. isn't funny! You know this place gives me the creeps? What the, what the hell? Rose? Rose, Rose is, that you? is that you? Not funny. Not funny. I'm leaving you if you don't come out. Come out. Not coming out, huh? Coming out, huh? Fine. Fine. I'm going. I'm going. Hello? Hello? Rose, I'm here at the mansion. Where the hell are you? Rose, come on. Where are you? What? The attic? Why?
this. A letter?
God. Send this to five people or else. Or else what? Or else what? No? Oh, please, no.
No. Go away. Five more minutes, Becca. All right, Isabella, where are we? The Ermengarde Mansion. Why? Ow, my head. And the date today? October 21st? Rose. Last one. Can you count to 15 in reverse order? 15, 14, 13, 12 teen? No, that's wrong. Why are we doing this? She's just checking if your injury is in any way serious. Do it, please. Ah, <sighs> you scared me for a moment there. I was about to call for an ambulance. Are you all right? Someone? 
You mean a client? Oh, that's unlikely. It's probably just one of the cleaning crews. The boss sent a few of them back this morning for some last minute... No, not any of those. They're... Ugh. I'm not actually sure. Wait, didn't I call you? You said you were in the attic when you answered. That's why I went there in the first place. As much as I'd love to have gotten at least a heads up of your arrival, I didn't really get a call from you. You know, signal here is absolutely horrendous. I was in the garden earlier and couldn't even make a single call. Isabella, I'm going to ask again. Are you really alright? What happened? I... I don't know. It's all a bit blurry. I remember I was looking for you, but you weren't in the attic. And... and there's... whoever it is. Then I must have tripped on a rug or something on the way down. Oh. Oh no. Do you think someone came in while you were out? You left the main door open! We are so going to get into big trouble if something gets stolen, Rose! Perhaps it is a concussion. Are you sure you feel fine? We could still call for an ambulance. I could cover for you. No, I'm fine. I'm okay, Rose. I can work. Besides, if I leave, you'll have to shoulder everything in the open house. Alone. And in a mansion this big? Okay. All right, you in. But if I see that you aren't feeling well, I'm taking you personally to the nearest clinic to have you checked. Clear? Clear as day, ma'am. Thanks, Rose. You insisted. But remember what I said, first sign of you looking not okay, and we're off. No questions asked. It's just a small bump, don't worry. You shouldn't downplay these kinds of things. It could be a serious injury for all we know. <clears throat> My sincerest apologies, Mrs. Miss. Miss McCulloch. Marianne McCulloch.
Miss McCullough, I'm Rose Cooper, and this is my partner, Isabella Santos. We're just ironing out a few things, but we'll be starting the tour soon enough. In the meantime, we've prepared some refreshments for you in the parlor while you're waiting. If you could please... Thanks. There's no need for it, though. I just dropped by for a quick survey of the place. I thought I should check the estate before I meet with the homeowners. I'm sorry. Homeowners? Yes. Hannah Wright? I was hired by her to handle the interior design for their newly bought home. This is the Ermengarde Mansion, right? It is, but... It is, ma'am, but we weren't aware the mansion has already been sold. What do you mean? The mansion is indeed for sale, ma'am. Today is the open house, in fact. However, we haven't heard anything from the higher-ups that a deal has already been closed for this particular property. I if you'd like, my co-agent and me can check with them right now. I thought something looked odd when I arrived here. Excuse me, I think I need to make a call to my secretary. Thank you for your assistance, Miss Santos. There seems to have been a little misunderstanding with my client. If you'll allow it, I'd like to stay and wait for them here. I was informed they'll be dropping by for the open house today. I figured it'd be a waste to just leave after that long drive. I might as well meet him here. Certainly. You can stay at the parlor in the meantime, ma'am. I'm sure it won't be long before our guests arrive. And Isabella, 
I left a few documents in my car. You know where I keep those. Can you please get it for me? And hurry! We still got a few minutes to double check those papers. Okay, got it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Rose Cooper, and this is my partner, Isabella Santos. We'll be taking a tour of the mansion in two groups. Please make sure you filled up our sign-in forms before joining a specific group. Those who want to look around the first floor, please follow my partner. I'll be guiding the ones who wish to see the ground floor. you when chief inspector lee mentioned that a famous interior designer is in town i knew i had to get you your confidence in my skills is very flattering ma'am i'm sure you won't disappoint marianne oh you know each other not at all ma'am you mentioned something about a marianne on our way here darling oh yes i think i did
Some of the furnishings here are actually the 17th century originals, all of which have undergone a painstaking restoration process just to return its original beauty. Even the glass... thing. Colorful ones. Oh, I don't know, but you get the idea, I hope. Especially that one, ma'am. It is said to be a gift commissioned by the fiancé of Lady Charlotte Ermengarde. The mansion's current owners have specifically requested that the restoration crew take great care in handling it. It's a priceless work of art and the most distinctive feature of the mansion. Isn't this place wonderful, darling? I told you it's not a total waste of your time. I don't know. Isn't it a bit too small? We might have to break a wall down to have more room. Well, I think it is just right. Don't you think so, Marianne? It is splendid, ma'am. But isn't it a little too early to make plans when no deal has been signed yet? Never mind that. It isn't going to be a problem. We've got a wonderful legal team to handle everything. Start taking notes, though. I think I've got a few things I want changed before we move in. The highlight of the room, however, is what's underneath this hatch here. Oh, don't say anything yet! An underground wine cellar! Yes, sir. It could house around 7,000 to 11,000 bottles of wine. Truly? And the room? How was it built? The bricks that were used to build the cellar have been carefully picked for the purpose of maintaining and preserving a constant temperature and humidity in the room. It's a good place to keep your private collection in if you have one, sir. It keeps the corks in good condition. Oh, love. Didn't you say before that you wanted to make your own personal vineyard? Perhaps you could start one here. You know we're going to need space for that, darling. If it's space you're worried about, sir, the Ermengarde Mansion sits on a 46-acre lot. There's plenty of room for it. We were told that the original owners had a horse stable built here before, too.
Excuse me? Everyone? We... We will be taking a 15-minute rest here before we visit the first floor. In the meantime, please help yourselves to the refreshments and snacks we've prepared. If anyone has any questions, feel free to approach me. I'd be happy to help you. Having to show a group around a mansion this big must be exhausting. Not a problem, ma'am. I'm just doing my job. What a hard worker. Anyway, Isabel, right? Isabella, actually. But yes, what can I help you with, ma'am, right? Please, just Hana. Call me Hana. I just wanted to ask, how soon are we able to move in? Wait, ma'am, I... you see... But we haven't even negotiated a price yet, ma'am. We haven't even finished touring the rest of the mansion. A sale would be great and all, but... Oh, please, sweetie, don't insult me. Money is not a problem. And, just between you and me, this place is better off with us than with some old lady who will probably just fill it up with cats. I personally don't think there's anything wrong with having cats here, ma'am, Hana. I'm sure there's more than enough space here if you want pets. Well, I'm more of a dog person. But you see, this is going to be a gift to my darling. It's going to be our anniversary soon, and it would be so wonderful if you can secure its purchase for us. Why, I can even offer something extra if you help us out with the paperwork. I... we actually have a process for this, ma'am. I don't really think that would be necessary or appropriate. And just what are you two lovely ladies talking about here? Leaving me and our lovely interior designer to talk here by ourselves. <laughs> what would the people think, darling? Oh, it's just small talk, love. I was asking if she could help me with the paperwork. Yeah, I can give you a fact sheet and a form to fill out. Wonderful. And Marianne, I'd really love to talk to you about those changes. You took some notes earlier, yes? I did, Mom. But I really hope that this time... Excellent. Hopefully you can help us out too, Isabel. Isabella. Right, right. It's a lovely name, Isabel. It's Isabella. Yes, that's great. We'll be more than happy to put in a good word to your superiors too, and... What's this? <laughs> Uh, an interesting work of art. Not to my taste, though. I'm sorry. Darling, Buttercup, 
Art is a complete overstatement for this garbage. <laughs> it looks like a cheap prop from a D-list horror film. Shush, love. Let the girl do what she pleases with... Uh, what do they call this? Oh, forget about it. At the very least, it's not as... dreadful as the one art exhibit I was forced to attend last month. You should have seen it, Marianne. Even you would have been appalled. But I'm sure you'll know what to do with our walls once we get started. I highly doubt it is as bad as you say, ma'am. Nevertheless, you can be assured that my team will only pick whatever suits your tastes. Nothing of this chain letter sort, of course. It has to always work with a palette. I'm quite sure chain letters these days don't come in this... form. That's good to hear. See, darling, isn't she an absolute delight to work with? I can't wait to see how this place will look when she's done with it. Oh, you don't have to tell me that, Buttercup. I would still put it away if I were you, though. Otherwise, people might get the wrong impression. Anyway, as I was saying... Isabella? Isabella? Are you all right? You're looking pale. I didn't know. I... Rose... I... Isabel, all right. Isabella, do you need me to call that ambulance?
No, I'm just feeling a bit out of it. Excuse me, I'll be back. I just need to catch my breath. Isabella, wait! Hey, I'm not angry. I know. I'm sorry I ruined this for you. Come on. You didn't ruin anything. It's not like we haven't ran into any problems before. If we don't get a deal today, we can always try on a different day. And... look. Rose, this is... you have to let them know about... I know you want us to get this sale so badly, and we've made a lot of plans on how to go about this. I mean, who wouldn't? This is the first time I've been assigned to a property like this. I've sold plenty of houses before, but nothing like what we have here. It's a beautiful house. I'd love to get one of my own if I ever win the lottery, but I think... Look, here's the thing, Isabella. If we are going to do this, work on something, I don't know, this big, I need you in top shape. And the way you are now... What? Wait, no, I can still work. I just need to get myself together. That's what you said earlier. I let it go because I thought... Hey, it's your own body and you should know more than anyone how you feel. But after this, I really think you should take a break. You're... you're kicking me out? No, I'm not. Look, all I'm asking is for you to take a seat somewhere I can see you and let me handle this for now. You're clearly not yourself and I honestly could use some time not worrying when you'll fall over or not. The day's not even over and I'm already feeling the stress. Please, humor me just this once. I promise I'll give you a full report of what happens after. I'll even let you take the lead tomorrow. Fine. Okay. I'll step aside for now. You're upset. A little, yeah, obviously. If it's any consolation, I won't tell the boss about today. You know how he is. Please don't. I don't want a repeat of the lecture I got during my first assignment. He called me a noob, and I don't even know what that means. <laughs> so, are we good? I won't be able to help you anyways if I keep getting distracted like this. Maybe I'll just take a walk outside or something while I wait for you to wrap things up. Please, just stay put. I insist. I'm not 
an invalid, Rose. You clearly have not seen how you looked earlier. It's not that bad. Color hasn't even returned to your cheeks yet. Just stay here, all right? Don't even think of going anywhere. Let me finish what I'm doing here, and then I'll take you back to Luxembourg myself to have that minor bump checked. At least wait for me to call someone who will fetch you, okay? How loud is this thing even? Beat me. Looking for trouble? Better not lie. I'm a cool dude. Pretty fly for an Asian guy. Sup, I'm Ash from Deluxe City. Baggers, watch out. Can't beat me. Looking for trouble? Better not lie. I'm a cool dude. Pretty fly for an Asian guy. Sup, I'm Ash from Deluxe City. Baggers, watch out. Can't beat me. Looking for trouble? Better not lie. I'm a cool dude. Pretty fly for an Asian guy. Sup, I'm Ash from Deluxe City. Baggers, watch out. Can't beat me. Looking for trouble? Better not lie. I'm a cool dude. Pretty fly for an Asian guy. Sup, I'm Ash from Deluxe City. Baggers, watch out. Can't beat me. Looking for trouble? Better not lie. I'm a cool dude. Pretty fly for an Asian guy. Sup, I'm Ash from Deluxe City. Baggers, watch out. Can't beat me. Looking for trouble? Better not lie. I'm a cool dude. Pretty fly for an Asian guy. Sup, of all the Ashton times to- Look city. Ashton Frey! Ah!
are you too, scaredy cat? I could stand to be greeted like a normal person, you know. What? And miss that look on your face? <laughs> no way! Oh man, I should have taken a picture. I am so honored you find this funny. Is that how you treat your guests? I think I need to talk to your supervisor. Talk to yourself? You aren't even a guest here. What are you doing here in the first place? Ash? I could be looking to buy a house. A mansion? Yeah, why not? Did you see the view outside? It doesn't look haunted to me at all. Ashton, I am not in the mood. What are you doing here? I just finished working on something, so I dropped by. And I, uh, I said I'll see if I can pick you up. Turns out I can. Uh, free time and all. So here, here I am. Uh, Figured you'd still be busy, and so I roamed around for a while. Oh, you should have mentioned that sooner. I was about to throw you out. Throw me? Hey, I was given a pamphlet. I think that makes me a legitimate client. We have mandatory sign-in sheets for clients, Ash. I didn't see your name on it. And you can't just roam around because it says open house. Normal people actually follow an etiquette here. Right, okay. I think I'll just go ahead and... No, wait! I wasn't really going to throw you out. Rose said... <laughs> Never mind. I was just about to leave anyway. Wait, what? Now? What's wrong? Nothing. Well, let's just go. It doesn't look like a nothing to me. We still have Zack's movie tonight, remember? It's still early. And didn't you say your shift will end around 5 or 6? What about- Hey, Isabella, wait up!
here. <laughs> Sorry. I won't say no to free food, but why are you giving away cereal bars? I always have one on my person, and you look like you're about to pass out back there. Have you eaten lunch yet? How'd the open house go? The usual. We got a bigger crowd than normal because of the property's fame, but really no different from the typical open house. On second thought, it actually looks like a fancy party more than an open house. I've never felt so underdressed in my life. Weren't you there? I wasn't really listening. I should have asked someone to kick you out. No, you won't. And what makes you so sure? One, ever since you got assigned to this property, you've been freaking out about it. Rebecca's words, not mine. She's been complaining to me about how you talked your ears off, by the way. Two, despite your initial qualms about the place, you still took the job. Which brings us to three. It's been months since you last settled a deal, and you're short on money right now since you're back to your instant noodle diet. How do you even know about the last one? Rebecca. Anyhow, you're hell-bent on selling the mansion. Even if someone you know personally is in the tour group, you aren't going to just kick them out. Every single person who went on your open house is still a prospective client to you. Even me. I hate you. I really hate you right now. <laughs> you know that there's already someone who's extremely interested in this property. So even if you express to any sort of interest in it, I don't think they'd be willing to let you have it. Too bad. You don't seem too happy about it. I am happy! Doesn't this look like a happy face to you? Really? And here I was thinking you found another one stuffed in the sofa. Or is it the wardrobe this time? Yeah, well, things happened. Stuff the right couple might not be pleased about. No need to make a fuss about it. It's normal in the business. You made them angry? Not angry. Just... stuff happened. Like? Things. Did they do anything? Your clients. The rights, was it? me about my work, yet you haven't said a single word about yours. That's not
not fair. Both you and Zack have literally disappeared off the face of the Earth. Didn't we just talk a week ago over chat? That's different! Linking your awful memes in the group chat box every morning isn't exactly a conversation. Excuse me, I don't hear you calling them awful while you're laughing at all of them. Shut up! And you aren't answering my question. All right, all right, lay off on the abuse. Remember that case I mentioned before? We've been trying to pin the bastard down, but it required more work than we anticipated. The guy's slippery like that. We got some good lead months ago.
There, Zack! Hey, hey, you guys! Long time no see! Sup, Z-Man, my main man. What's crack a lacking, my homie? Yo, stop trying to act black, Ashton. And you're the only one who calls me Z-Man. <laughs> it's been a while, Zach. I hope you didn't get into trouble again. Not much to get into trouble lately without you, I'm afraid. I'll let you know if something comes up, though. Nah, I ended up with Chicken Down stuck on me last time I agreed. I'd really love at least this year to pass without some sort of accident happening again. Hey, I take offense to that. It wasn't that bad. You really have no idea. Hey, I'm kidding! You know you can always count on me. Rebecca's now with you. Is she still sick? A bit. But she's up and went to work this morning. You know she doesn't listen to anyone that's not Ash. Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. You're literally the only person she'll listen to when she's feeling stubborn. But don't worry, Zack. She's probably on her way here now. She promised she wouldn't miss your movie. Isabella! Oh, thank goodness! Becca! You're just in time! You're squishing my face. How are you? Are you alright? Why wouldn't I be? Rose called me earlier. Everything's good. Rose covered for me at work today. That's not what I'm talking about. How's your head? Oh, 
Oh, it's nothing. I just slipped off a few steps on my way down. I blacked out for a few seconds and had a minor bump, but it's just that. You blacked out? It's not something to brush off. Come on, at least let me check it. It's extremely minor. You wouldn't even know it's there. Isabella, this isn't a laughing matter. She did look pale when I saw her. Wow, thanks a lot, Ashton, you traitor. I'll get you back for this. Just you wait. What? I'm just saying it as it is. If you mentioned this earlier, we wouldn't be having this conversation right now. I'm sorry. Saw her? Yeah, they arrived together. Bella looked fine to me then. I don't know. Oh, that's... that's good. At least she didn't have to travel alone, right? At least. Good. See? I'm okay. I wouldn't be here if I wasn't. And... and I don't want to miss Zack's film. We can always watch it some other time. <sighs> Sorry, Zachary. No, it's good. But you guys should really keep it down. We're starting to attract some attention. It's the premiere! The premiere's different! Right, Zack? Not really, but Rebecca has a point. In the end, I think it's your call. Oh, for heaven's sake! Please, Becca, I really don't want to miss it. You're not missing it. We're just moving it on a different day so we can have a... Look, you guys. If she says she's okay, then there's nothing we can do about it. It's not like we can stop her either. Besides, she's still acting like the same old Isabella to me, if she can still run around like that. Why are you taking her side? I'm not. But if she wants to watch Zack's movie with us, I'm not going to stop her. She's probably the one looking forward to it the most. Ash, that's... <sighs> you, of all people, should know... Tell you what, if I notice something amiss with her, I'll take her to the nearest hospital myself. Is that good enough for you? <sighs> Thanks, Becca! It's always been you with him, isn't it? Did you say something? Me? Uh, nothing. Don't mind me. If you say so. Okay guys, showtime's close, so I think I'm gonna get us some snacks. My treat. And then let's head inside. Uh, anyone here has a smaller bill? I think I do. Hold on. What's this? It's just a paper. I don't care! Give it! Looks ancient, too. Why do you keep this around? Don't open it! What's the big deal? It's not like it's a love letter. I don't see any reason to... Hold on a second. This is, isn't it? Even if it is, it's not for you. Okay, now I'm curious. I'm telling you it's nothing like that. It's...
send this to five people or else. Well, that's interesting. Um, guys, I think we should listen to Bella first. Aren't you a few days early for Halloween? It's not a prank. What did you say? This isn't a prank! I saw something! Hold on. Are we still talking about this paper? Or is it about the urban legend again? Both. I know it sounds ridiculous. You're saying this is a primitive version of a chain letter. And now that we've seen it, we're now cursed. You've got to be kidding me. See? This is why I didn't want to tell you guys! Isabella, aren't you taking this a bit too far? It's not a joke! Will you guys listen to me first? I saw something in the house earlier. It stood right in front of me. If I hadn't gotten away, that thing might have... Right. And in broad daylight, Isabella, even someone gullible would find the logic in that screwed up. There's also no way in hell that this supernatural shit is true. But it's real! What do you think I saw? A hallucination? A delusion? Didn't you say you fell down some stairs? So maybe Rebecca's right. It happened after, when I was trying to get away. I almost got stuck in the same room with that thing. We're all in danger. I thought you were my friends. Why don't you believe me? We are, and you know that. But this thing and that thing has got nothing to do with the other. When Rose called earlier, I thought she's just exaggerating. But based on what I'm seeing right now, maybe it's better if we really postpone this for now. Don't bother. Guys! Why don't we all calm down first? I'm sure Isabella has her reasons too. No need to be hard on her. And hey, ain't this supposed to be a happy get-together? We haven't seen each other for months. I I'd really love to know what y'all have been up to. I only ever get to talk to Bella over chat. Please.
we keep arguing here, we're going to miss the first few minutes. All right, that's the Isabella I know. Oh, good. I thought for sure you were going to cry. <clears throat> what was that for? Stop calling me a crybaby! I'm not one! Aw, oh, don't cry. Stop it! Okay, scaredy cat then. That too! If you repeat that, I swear I'll... <sighs> Let's just go. Oh, uh, you guys go catch up with her. I'll go get us the food, I promise. But you'll miss it. Didn't you say watching a movie without food ain't fun? And <laughs> it ain't like I haven't seen it. I made it, remember? I'll be in there soon. Are you sure it wasn't one of the cleaning crews? Absolutely sure. And then I ran. You heard what happened after. I still think it's something else. It was standing right in front of me, Ash. I heard what you said, but it's a small room. There are a lot of things someone else could have done there without your knowledge. If I could see it up close, maybe I can... I am not going back there! Ain't that a problem if you're hosting an open house? Rose does the first floor tour. I ain't sure ghosts can be restricted to one room, Bella. There are no ghosts, Zack. Stop putting useless ideas in her head. Yeah, but I was thinking. Maybe all the house needs is a blessing. Wasn't it left uninhabited for years? I didn't peg you as the religious type, Zack. Nothing like that, Ash. Who knows, though? It might bring something positive to the place. That's not a bad idea. I just don't know where I could find someone. You're not seriously considering his suggestion, are you? Do you have a better idea? I know where. I could contact him for you if you want. You do that? Or we can find you a psychologist instead. Ash, that is not a very appropriate thing to say right now. No, wait, that's not what I meant. 
Ethnographer. I meant ethnographer. This guy's a psychologist, too, of course, if you... Ashton, if you don't stop... Rebecca knows the guy I'm talking about, too. She can vouch for him. Huh? What? Oh, are you talking about Professor Andrew? He used to work with my parents at the university. And can you guys keep it down? Sorry, the scaredy cat here mentioned curses. Not that I'm saying this is one. But talking to him is a better solution for me than getting a random priest to bless an old house. He'll even help you figure things out, teach you a couple things, and probably put your fears to rest since this looks to be bothering you a lot. So, what do you think? It's your call. We'll go with whatever you want. I don't know. I... I'll think about it, but if ever, I'd like to give talking to Andrew a try. Is that okay? Won't he have other things to do?